Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel and thank you so much for being here. Today we have my Margot Elena box for fall, so let's get into it and check it out. We've been waiting too long. I am so excited to open this. I am so far behind the times. I can't wait to get into this. If you are new to Margot Elena, Margot Elena is an international perfumer and she does fabulous scents. She has a fabulous website. They have Tokyo Milk and Lalia and the Cottage Greenhouse. I'm missing others, I'm sure, but those are the ones that came directly to mind. And they do this discovery box and it is $59.99. Plus you pay shipping, so it could be $6.95 shipping is what I pay. And I think you pay by your zip code. And for that, you will have $200 or more in value. And the beauty of that is there are things that are selling on her website. This isn't companies that she's reached out to for reduced price goods. These are real goods that she is selling right now on the website for higher value. So it's always beautiful. It is beautifully packaged. The scents are incredible. This is Painted Splendor. I think that's probably our theme for fall. It is absolutely gorgeous. When we open up the box, it's got the same thing on the inside. I have done this box for years now. The winter box, as of when I'm taping this, the winter box is still available. This is the fall box. So if you are thinking about it, I highly recommend it. It's also great for gifts. I, I, hashtag not affiliated, not I buy my own box, all of that. It, I just love it and I've often thought it's a gorgeous gift. Like if you have a woman in your life that you just don't know what to get, you could either have this shipped to her or have it shipped to you and wrap it up. It would be a simply stunning gift. So when we open it up, it comes wrapped like, it, it's just like it's a present. It's beautiful. And when you open it up, it looks like it's a gift. Most things are individually packaged to make sure that they get to you without getting hurt in any way, harmed, spilling, any of those things breaking. And on the inside of our paperwork, we will have just basically it's a price list. It will tell you what the item is and the price for it. We are just going to dive right in and look at all of these beautiful goodies. Fresh out, we have a Cottage Greenhouse, which is one of the brands. It is the Japanese Plum and White Tea Rich Shea Butter Hand Cream. And I have actually had this scent in other products, but I don't think I've ever had it in the hand cream. We'll take it out. This is what it looks like. And it is a metal container and the beauty is a couple of boxes ago we got one of those turnkeys that they used to have in old-fashioned days like for toothpaste that you slide it on here and you can use it to turn and help it come out it works i had this for years before i received that but i am so happy to receive that now if you're listening margo elena what i would love going forward is she uses flat tops see it's a completely flat top and it's a metal seal so you have to break it somehow. So we need the tops that you can push into it and break the seal. And I just generally do that with the point of a knife. I'm not gonna open this because I do have a couple of her hand creams open now and we're getting close to Christmas and I wanna might wanna tuck this away for a gift because they make beautiful gifts. And this has a $26 value and I brought my iPad over here so I could tell you a little bit about each of the items and it says, tap into the power of mother nature with beauty boosting treats. Thick, rich, and positively addicting dynamic duo avocado oil and shea butter provide the base to our luxurious hand cream. Add to this natural emollients, jojoba, and white tea extracts, and you have one irresistible botanic balm that absorbs quickly, soothing even the most demanding dry skin. You are left refreshed and marvelously moisturized. And because it is so pretty, and it even comes in such a gorgeous, I mean, look at the side of that box. It just comes in such gorgeous packaging. It would be... It would be a lovely gift. Okay, next out, we have something from Infinite She, and this is new to the line. I'd say maybe six months or so. I don't know what this is yet, but that is what it looks like. I would say it's something in here, and it is a rosehip and hibiscus lip balm. Doesn't that sound lovely? And I love that it's bigger. When we open it up, it just looks like a lip balm. Oh, it smells good. And it twists up from the top. Oh, that smells amazing. Ow. Oh, I want to put it on, but I have lips on. Oh my gosh, that smells amazing. I will be using this right away. On the website, it has a $10 value and it says rock your radiance with this rosehip and hibiscus 100% natural lip balm designed to give your lips a nourishing, smoothing pick-me-up. After all, every stand-up, speak-out moment starts with you feeling your most confident. 
fiercely feminine and fiercely you. And again, and I'm keeping this. I'm not gifting it. As you could tell by the way I put it on my hand. But if you wanted to gift it, it comes in this. So, so pretty. In each box, we usually get cards too. Now, I don't know if you've priced cards lately, but I have been using these cards because cards are expensive. So this month we have sending you a bear hug. How cute is that? So cute. And then we have, oh snap, another birthday. And it's an alligator. And that is super cute. And our third has a hippo on it. And it says, a big thank you. So they're just really easy to use. It's an easy birthday one. It's not gender specific. And you could write whatever you want to write on the inside. I just, I use the heck out of these. And they have a value of $16.50. Now we get into the wrapped up like gifts portion of the program. And just for the record, helpful hint from me, save your tissue paper. Ooh, perfume. We have been getting, in the beginning when we got this box, we did not always get perfume. But we have started getting perfume in nearly every box. trigger warning. I I don't love spiders. Let me go ahead and look up the before I hold it anymore. It's called Black Widow. Yeah, I am that. I, I do not enjoy a spider. It is perfume number 38. It has a $48 value and it says its fragrance notes are Scarlet Sage, Ylang Ylang, Orange Balsam, and Oak Moss. A daring blend of tempting exotic notes, drawing in all those who come near. Wild and earthy, a top note of scarlet sage cunningly beckons, while a luscious orange blossom and ylang ylang bewitch. A final touch with oak moss tempers the soul of this mesmerizing fragrance. For those who like it just a shade darker. Okay, well we have to spray it. I. I know you think I'm overreacting and I'm sure that I am. I'm terrified of spiders. Okay, I put it on the paper just in case. You never know. I don't think I've ever tried a Tokyo Milk perfume that I haven't enjoyed, but just in case. Oh my gosh, that may be my favorite yet. Of course, it's got the spider on it. I'm going to have to turn it backwards on my vanity so that's not the one I look at. The back is just quite lovely. They, let me show you. They have made it so that I don't want to put my hand behind it too close to the spider. They have made it so that it, you could do that. This, that, just know, that is how it will sit on my vanity. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it smells lovely. Absolutely lovely. Very clean. They talked about it being very dark and exotic, and it is. It's very nice. But it also is, to me, its underlying scent is just a very clean scent. I like that a lot. We're reaching in next. I have another. Oh, this one is branded Margot Elena. I don't know if you guys can see that. Let's see what we have here. So it's wrapped in the tissue and then also wrapped in bubble wrap. Looks very pretty. This is a super good one. It's always good. I love this box, but this one seems even above and beyond. This one's called Archive. Journey Within. I don't know this. This must be new to them. I don't know anything about this brand or this, I guess, brand. I think it's all Margot Elena. See what we can find online. So I know some of you are probably thinking, why don't you look this all up before you show us? Because I avoid the spoilers and I don't want to know what's in here either. I want you guys, I want us to be surprised together. So this is the Journey Within Body Lotion. It has a $34 value and the brand is Archive. So I would say this is new to Margot Elena because I've never heard of it. And it says, lose yourself in the depths of this rich restorative body lotion. Infused with aromatic scents to revive the body and mind, an irresistible classic you simply can't put down. Let's see what they say. It says here, fragrance notes. The fragrance notes are green tea and willow. The sublime harmony of bright green tea touched by fresh willow awaken the senses to journey within. Let's open it and see what it smells like. Oh, very clean, very green. I like it a lot. Almost one could argue slightly springy. It makes you think fresh, green, herby, but there's definitely a floral undertone. I used to say 100% with this box, if you do not like florals, do not get this box. This one is not giving you that vibe. This is very green. The hand lotion, I've had that before. It has a real clean, earthy scent to it. The perfume is not floral. Yeah, this smells delicious. You know what, I wanna know how it feels. 
put it on the back of my hand. I love lotions in a pump because you can set them on your nightstand and and it's so much easier to use. That said, my skin is so dry and because of that I almost use a body butter and you can't have a body butter in a pump. I If you have a body butter in a pump that you know about, let me know. But that is so moisturizing. We'll see throughout the rest of this video. It smells luscious. That smells okay. Now that I've said it has a slightly spring scent, I would think I would see it more in a spring box. On, it almost has a slightly, ever so slightly undertone of pine. Is that pine? If you got this, let me know. It's very fresh and light. I like it a lot. Keeping that spider turned away from me. <laughs> Next up, we have, what do we have? Tokyo Milk Follow Your Dreams Hand Poured Perfumed Luminary. We have a candle. That's actually the bottom. The top has a unicorn on it. So cute. Let's see what this smells like. Is it sparkly? Oh, it is. That's glitter. Did that come across that his mane is glittery? I'll do that just in case. So cute. It's the extra touches. Everything is just so beautiful and feminine. This is definitely a pricier box compared to some of the subscription boxes I have, but I will tell you, I never regret it. I love this box. Oh, that's good. Also springy to me. The beauty of these, I love them in the bedroom because they're usually a light floral or a real fresh scent, and it's usually a scent that I just love in the bedroom, and they're usually really cute like look it's got the little unicorn on the front of it too but if you're looking at it from the side it's also pretty let's see what they say the scent of this is crushed citrus jasmine crisp greens and neroli i completely concur i basically said that myself <laughs> you guys know i'm so good at scents and the candle has a 24 dollar value Another wrapped up gift. We have a Tokyo Milk number 12 gin and rose water. That sounds amazing. <laughs> that is what it looks like. It's going to be one of the cremas. We also get these quite often. And I can't help but tell the tale because I'm always afraid somebody's going to be new to the channel. This is not a body lotion. The first time that we got one of these in a box, I thought it was like a lotion. You'll see why once I manage to get it open. It looks like a body lotion. So I put it all over myself and the scent was unbearable it was a gorgeous scent it was gorgeous there was just so much of it and i knew that when you put it on you think wow this is this is strong this is getting wow this is getting really strong it must fade quickly it must and then there you are <laughs> having to shower which i did it is very as these go it is very light i like that a lot and what you do is you just take a little bit just need a little bit. Use as much as makes your heart happy. Start small and add. So you just take a little bit and you put it like on your pulse points. That's hard with my Fitbit on, but you just put it on your pulse points. Mm, that's fresh. I like that. Ooh, doo -doo, doo -doo -doo. I'm gonna put it on all my pulse points so when somebody snuggles up with me later, they get a snows full of gin. <laughs> Let's see online what they say the actual fragrance notes are. They say it is the gin and rose water perfume crema delice. I don't know what delice means. $24. It is a beautiful balance of citrus zest, rosewood, mimosa, and mandarin. Eau de parfum captured in an extra rich cream base. A triple scented perfume alternative. The Parfum Crema is a modern interpretation of parfum intended to be worn in the place of traditional fragrance. Dab on pulse points for a long-lasting allure. So, <laughs> you can only imagine something that they've basically said is perfume. Once I had it, <laughs> yeah, it was eye-watering. <laughs> right, and last out, sadly, sadly, last out, we have something in a box. I think. We have the Cucumber and Honey Moisture Rich Dry Body Oil. I have this in the Japanese Plum and White Tea that I'm about three quarters through so I am not going to squirt this. I can tell you guys that it is lovely. I like it very much. I have had this scent before in other items and I love her dry oils. I always say yeah I don't I'm not clear on why they call it dry oil because 
it's oil. And while it might absorb more quickly, it still feels like oil. I mean, everybody does it. It's not a Margot Elena thing. It's an oil. I put it on as soon as I'm done in the shower. Turn the water off, put one of these on. Mostly in the winter, so yay, we're going into winter. But I like it prior to still lotioning. That's how dry my skin is, especially on my legs. If I do this and then the lotion locks this in, I go through the winter without even a scratch on my shin. And this is cucumber and honey. And to me, it does, I mean, I'll sniff this one, but to me, it does absolutely have a cucumber scent to it. Yeah, it's cucumber and honey. It smells kind of like a sweet cucumbery scent. You don't end up smelling like a cucumber. Um, I don't think I ended up smelling like a cucumber. That would be sad. Okay, that is our Margot Elena box. I, I just love this box. Everything in it is so beautiful. The scents are amazing. I will put a link down below. It is not an affiliate link. Like I said, I, I'm not affiliated with them. I buy my own boxes. I just enjoy it so much. We have the Archive body lotion that smelled amazing. That is going straight into use. I don't care what I'm already using. The cucumber and honey dry oil, the Japanese plum and white tea hand cream, which may actually become a gift because I do have a few hand creams. <laughs> the perfume crema, use it judiciously. That scent, Jenna and Rosewater, smelled amazing. Our, not called unicorn, but I'm going to call it my unicorn candle. Our three cards, the infinite she, what did I say this was? Hibiscus and rosehip, I think. This smelled amazing. And don't think perfume, floral perfume, because who would want that on their lips? I wouldn't. It smelled so good. And I put it off to last. It couldn't be put off anymore. Our perfume, which is number 38. <laughs> and it was, what did I say it was? It was Black Widow. I remember that. Uh, Scarlet Sage, Ylang Ylang, Orange Blossom, and Oak Moss. That is our Margot Elena for fall. It is still available for winter, and I will put the link down below. Like I said, not in any way affiliated with them yet. If they'd like me to be affiliated with them, I would be happy to do it. I have been getting this box for years and loving it. Thank you so much for coming by, guys. I appreciate you taking the time to come by and see all these beautiful products. Please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you'll know when I have more videos, and I will see you again really soon. Bye, guys.